we start constructing massive solar sucking devices and link them with our fellow planetary civilizations. They wrap around the sun 90 million miles out. Hello, and welcome to the show. Today, we are talking about Dyson spheres. Maybe you have seen some articles recently, or maybe you think I'm talking about vacuums. Well, I'm sorry, today is not about vacuums. It's about space alien technology. Theories. Right, because we haven't met up with an alien civilization, and we definitely haven't seen one of these massive spheres with our own eyes. Right? Let's travel back to 1960 and check in on physicist and astronomer Freeman J. Dyson. He got the bright idea of using solar collectors to suck up all that sweet juice of the sun and turn it into energy. Like a solar panel, but not on Earth, and really big, like massively big, and completely wrapped around the sun. To harness the power of the sun! I suppose it's a lot like Nineveh in Avengers Infinity War, a massive structure built specifically to use the energy of a star. In Dyson's paper titled Search for Artificial Stellar Sources of Infrared Radiation, he believed that if we accepted this concept and searched the stars for it, we might discover intelligent life beyond our planet. An early concept from astronomers was a hollow sphere wrapped around a sun as it played off the shell idea from Dyson. Dyson didn't necessarily see this as a solid shell like an egg, though. He specifically believed that something solid or like a ring would be mechanically impossible. He envisioned a loose collection or swarm of objects traveling on independent orbits around the star. He believed that this would be the logical consequence of the long-term survival and escalating energy needs of a technological civilization. It would need to be further away from the sun than what some of the fun images displayed on the internet show. Much less exciting to look at, but the swarm of objects would be closer to the 90 million mile mark. Dyson admits to pulling part of this concept from science fiction. I mean, after all, it's a great place to find cool ideas. Now here's where it gets even weirder. Based on Dyson's calculations, he proposed that an alien civilization growing exponentially at just 1% per year would become a trillion times larger in just 3,000 years. If their solar system had something as large as Jupiter, then they would be able to take it apart and build a shell. Apparently there's so much mass to Jupiter that they would be able to build platforms six to 10 feet thick, all connecting, allowing the aliens to live on them, like an inverted planet. What? Dyson said a shell of this thickness could be made comfortably habitable and could contain all the machinery required for exploiting the solar radiation falling onto it from the inside. All of that sun being sucked up by this new sphere would need to send excess energy back out or else it would melt. If we were to find this in space, we would see it as either a very dim light from the star or entirely black depending on how the sphere is constructed but the massive sphere would generate bright infrared wavelengths. But why would an alien civilization need this? Like, really? Consider this. While we aren't even close to this level of technology, we are actively draining our planet of natural resources. Um, hello, oil? <laughs> if our planet dries up like SpongeBob out of water, then we need to find a new place to live. Now, fast forward thousands of years and picture humanity living Oh, picture humanity living on several planets and moons. Eventually, we continue to grow our populations beyond those resources as well. We know that solar power is an excellent source of energy, so we decide to use it more than we are at that time. We start constructing massive solar sucking devices and link them with our fellow planetary civilizations. They wrap around the sun 90 million miles out and we can now live along these platforms and have constant energy. I'm sure that will be the future of Tesla's power walls, and Elon Musk will probably still be around as some sort of cyborg. Some believe that once a civilization reaches this stage, it would be more robots than anything, but I mean, who knows? Maybe we'll be lucky enough to find out in our lifetime if we ever get real confirmation of alien life. Have we found any real indications of Dyson spheres? Well, in 2015, we came across a star called Tabby Star, or KIC 8462852, rolls off the tongue, that was fluctuating its brightness and dimming as much as 
The idea of a Dyson Sphere was suggested, but based on their findings, the level of light being blocked was associated more with something like dust, since the light wasn't completely blocked at any point. Well, I think we should stay positive and hopeful to one day find a real Dyson Sphere. In the meantime, watch this video here to learn more about space. And as always, thanks for watching and what did you learn today?